Welcome travelers, Flowcat here. Today we will be starting the new video series, How Do I Insert Unit Name Here? This is gonna be a series in which I go over each unit, analyze their kit, show you what investments I've made into them, the teams I like to use them in, as well as mechanics I find useful for playing that particular unit. It's going to take me a while to get through all the units in Genshin Impact, but I figured who better to start with than Amber. So with no further ado, let's jump right into the video. Before we dive in, I'd like to say a few things about what this series is and what this series isn't. In this series, I will be analyzing each unit's kit and showing how to utilize them in game. As well, I will discuss how I like to build them, what team compositions I use them in, and what mechanics I find useful for those units. In this series, I'm not advising you to do what I do. I'm not saying this is the optimal or best way to play each unit. This is simply what I do, and I'm sharing it in hopes that you will find it useful, entertaining, or maybe just interesting. Keep this in mind for your replies down in the comment section, and as always, be respectful. Thanks. Let's look at Amber's kit, and afterwards we'll discuss what role she plays. Her normal attack talents are standard for archers, either auto attacks or charge shots infused with pyro when held for 2 seconds. Her E drops a bear and bunny on the field, which taunts enemies and explodes after a short time or when enough damage is taken. This skill generates energy when it connects with enemies. Her burst is a quick AoE that hits many times, dealing pyro damage. It has a low energy cost of 40 and a short cooldown of 12 seconds. It's clear by looking at her skills that she falls into the primary role of a utility unit. Her taunt and easy access pyro application are very useful, and her skill can generate a lot of energy when used properly, for her or for other teammates. Her kit is focused on being very quick swap friendly, and she takes very little field time to do what she needs to do. It is possible to build her as a sub DPS burst TPS or a charge shot DPS. DPS. In these situations, I recommend using reactions to maximize her spike damage. I always recommend bringing units to at least level 85 out of 90. My Amber's not quite there yet, but she'll get there, it just takes time. It's okay to level up your supports a little slower than your DPS units. And as you can tell, I definitely like to level up all the talents on my bow units. These are her stats for those who are curious. For artifacts, I build her on a 4-piece Noblesse set. 4-piece Wanderers can be useful for a sub-DPS reaction build, or 4-piece Crimson Witch of Flames for maximum damage possible, if you can stand farming that domain. I like using Noblesse because I like to use her as a buffer, a battery, and a pyro enabler. Noblesse increases her burst damage, which already has high scaling, and it buffs her as well as the rest of your teammates. Her cooldown on her burst also lines up perfectly with the set effect. For weapons, there are many that are good for Amber. I prefer to use Elegy on Amber because it adds to her buffing capabilities and her burst triggers the passive really easily. Other good weapons would be Favonius, Sacrificial, Prototype Crescent, or even Viridescent. There's no reason to build her with a crazy 5 star weapon unless you really want to maximize her DPS potential. In teams, having Amber taunt and provide puffs is my favorite way to utilize her kit. Having easy access to pyro application makes her valuable for Viridescent Venerer teams or Archaic Petra teams, as you need to be able to apply the element whenever needed to get the set bonus. Now I'll give you some examples of teams and show you a few small clips of me using them. First up is a team with Zhongli, Amber, Noel, and Hu Tao. This is a hyper carry team composition focused on Geo Resonance, Archaic Petra on Noel, as well as Pyro Resonance and Tenacity of Millilith on Zhongli. The idea is to protect Hu Tao as much as possible, taunt the enemies to distract them from her taking damage in the first place, and use Noel to buff with the Archaic Petra set as well as occasionally heal when the party needs it. Let's look at some footage of me using the team. Solidify. Steady as.
stabilize. Let it rain. I must leave no stone unturned. Time to clean up. Ha! Cross over. <laughs> The next team is Chongyun, Amber, Kokomi, and Rosaria. The idea is to use Amber's taunt so that the enemies stay close to Kokomi's jellyfish and become frozen easily. Then she can swap in, burst to melt down the enemies as well as buff her teammates, and cycle back through the rotation. Let's look at some footage of that. The last team composition is Amber, Zinchu, Kazua, and Yanfei. The idea behind this team composition is to apply some quick pyro, taunt the enemies, apply some hydro with Zinchu, swirl both elements with Kazua for a buff, and then go on to Yanfei to DPS the enemies down. Let's look at some footage of that. What you see on screen right now is the fastest you can fire your bow while aiming. What I'm about to show you is how to do a dash cancel after charge shots. If you hold your mouse button after dash canceling the charge shot, it allows you to regain your aim and you can see the rate of fire is actually faster than just aiming down the bow. Learning this trick is really important, and I encourage you to do this if you play bow units. 
All right, before we go, there's one more thing I'd like to do. I'd like to focus on constellations at the very end of this video. That way the rest of the video isn't really slated on whether the unit has constellations or not. We can discuss how their kit is upgraded from the base kit with the constellations in this section of the video. Let's get into it. Her first constellation fires two arrows per aim shot. Her second constellation allows her to manually trigger her Baron Bunny by shooting it in the foot for an increase in damage. Her constellation 4 gives her an extra Baron Bunny as well as reduces her cooldown. And her constellation 6 adds some valuable buffing with movement speed and attack bonus. Her constellations aren't necessary, but they open up some new strategies that allow you to utilize her kit in some really fun ways. Having C4, C2, and C1 allows you to drop two Baron Bunnies, dash backwards, use a charge shot, and blow both of them up instantaneously for big spike damage. This is a really fun strategy to get good at, and it's exciting to use properly. If you have constellations with Amber, I highly recommend practicing some of these mechanics. They're pretty fun. All right, that'll bring us to the end of the first video in this series. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. Comment down below and let me know if you learned anything about our best girl, Amber. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, stay healthy, stay hydrated, peace.